Hi, my name is Heli. I am from Finland, from the Tampere University of Technology. I am working in the core unit. My colleague uh, is working in a, in a Tampere campus. And the third uh, colleague of mine is working in Calabria University in Italy. Uh, our paper in EduLearn 216 Barcelona conference is named uh, Blocking as a Virtual Co-Learning Environment in the International Course Context. Uh, <coughs> I am doing this uh, uh, video or, uh, based on this uh, PowerPoint point slideshow. First of all, I would try I'd like to say that University of Calabria is a big uh, university compared to, to our university in Finland, but we have a long relationships in uh, collaboration within uh, teaching. Uh, the the uh, information management and logistics, on the other hand, is the department from the Tampere uh, campus, which is uh, uh, which is collaborating in this in this in this paper. So, context of this study: the study was conducted in the international master degree course in knowledge management uh, in um, in Finland, and the planning and the execution of the course was already a collaborative learning curve for us as the teachers. Uh, from the very beginning, Professor Salvatore Amirato uh, from the Calabria has been involved with this, as his, uh, uh, his uh, area is knowledge management. And uh, Dr. Yus Yari Yusila from Tampere University, Tampere University of Technology has been uh, here as an expert on social media utilization in the businesses. For some reason, this is not coming here. Uh, I myself, I am from the industrial engineering department from the POR unit. Mm. In our paper, you will find the theory uh, about the collaborative learning, co-learning environment, team-based learning and virtual teams. I'm not going to repeat this uh, here, uh, this pouring theory part here in, in this slide, so, but instead I will introduce you what we actually did had done in, 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 in our course. So, the basic idea was to have uh, mm, students involved in this subject area of knowledge management by uh, themselves to implement uh, an, uh, blog, blog pages. And the blogging was the, the tool actually to deliver the project in, the, in, in, in this course. And here you will see the subject areas which were related in this uh, in this um, uh, blocking. Uh, there were altogether 16 teams who were working in. Uh, each student was working with an individual subject, like in Team 10 in organizational learning, for example. There was an expansive learning, blended learning, project-based learning and problem-based learning, or uh, Team 13 on social media, uh, they, were, uh, they were working on uh, collective intelligence, wisdom of crowds, crowdsourcing, and uh, participatory, participatory economy, for example. I will now show you uh, uh, what kind of blocks the students were doing and what was the sort of uh, educational uh, moral of the store in this course. First of all, uh, first, of, uh, first of all, teacher was uh, creating the knowledge management block, the, the main block, in which I'm, I'm introducing here these um, visiting uh, scholars and all kind of uh, sort of a practical things on a course uh, on a first page. Then on the upper, side, upper corner of the page there is intellectual capital management, innovation management, knowledge management, organizational learning, 
organizational memory and s social media. As in the uh, previously seen uh, <coughs> table of content in, in the blog. So teacher is giving the subject area to students. So on each such area page, uh, teacher is uh, uh, having a short introduction to the to this uh, to this uh, subject, and then all the pages which uh, these uh, student teams have been building are uh, uh, included in each uh, subject area page. So students were working around uh, in, in, in innovation management, for example, in four-person teams and each individual had an, uh, had, had an own subject on, on this area. Let's see. One of the advantages in this uh, system was the knowledge um, and uh, the, 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 the tool was uh, not uh, obligatory or, or forced by the teacher. They could use whatever tool they can use. So there was WordPress, Blogger, and uh, for example here some some wiki thing uh, from 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 a special other school or, or educational in institution. It doesn't matter because you can you can always include this the, the, the blog main pages. And here you see the individual subject area of each students in this team of four students, for example. Um, uh, one, one thing which was uh, interesting was that uh, when you were uh, allowing students to use blogging, uh, they were also uh, very much keen on uh, introducing what did they do in their uh, virtual teams and how did they meet, for example, at the campus area and all this kind of uh, sort of uh, informal things were also uh, included. What was the snack of the day and so on. Uh, these kind of things were, were uh, you could find from the, from the blog. And this is interesting because these are actually like uh, teasers for the other students to go into the pages and, and see what is in there. Um, here is an example of a different kind of uh, uh, page, uh, which is actually uh, very much like uh, professional style. They have a, they have a long uh, sort of article style. Uh, of uh, essay here in this page and the, in the end of the page you can see that the, there are also a proper proper references to the literature and links to the, the, the web pages used so intellectual property rights are in a good condition. Uh, here you have a good example of the how the pages are formed so uh, there is an uh, subject area of organizational learning. This is group nine and they have chose to use this kind of layout. The layout was up to the, 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 the students. So they had uh, first a home page. I'm sorry about this. And then learning a process in organization. This was a teacher's uh, subject teacher was giving to them. And single and double loop learning how to nurture the learning in company and neutral learning subjects. Here you can find what they have uh, find out of these different subjects. They also included some YouTube videos there and, and, and different kind of uh, sort of um, very useful material. Back to the main page. Let's continue here. So you, have, you, you can find the link to the blog page uh, from these uh, pictures here. Mm. To conclude, what did we find actually from our, our research? Based on our findings, findings, we can conclude that the blogging as a virtual calling environment in the context of an international course is meaningful and relevant. This is how we how we found it. 
uh, when we were making a survey, uh, more than 76% of the students agreed that the use of information and communication aids during the course supported their learning. So, uh, in the same survey, uh, we got uh, a result of more than 71% of students expressed the feeling that the new social media tools studied during the course could also help them in uh, later in their studies or working life. Blocking as a collaborative learning environment is also useful due to the cumulative nature of it. So students can learn from the earlier year student pages, for example. And in parallel, students can effectively learn from each other. Uh, this study is actually offering you a blueprint of an experiment for for, for teaching in your own classroom, so you, you are feel free to, to, to try this blocking at your courses. At the end here, I have some references which are more, more or less based on our, uh, our, our previous studies. And finally, I thank you very much about your interest in this subject and uh, looking at this video. And feel free to contact us uh, later if you are interested in this paper. <laughs>